hello my loves and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome my love please stick around don't be a stranger and do consider subscribing if this is not your first time here you already know the drill I think you just love to hear me say it if this is not your first time here you better be subscribed honey on today guys I'm gonna do another cook with me video and what I'm going to show you guys how to make is jollof rice and with that rice I'm gonna probably do some beef or goat meat I'm actually about to go out to the market now and get several of the ingredients that I need for the recipe um, if you're not used to jollof rice or if you don't cook it or try to prepare it because it can be a little intimidating to make, then you want to watch this video, guys, because I'm going to go very slow with it. I'm going to explain everything to you, and I am going to make this be a very simple and easy video for you so you too can prepare jollof rice. Let's get into the video, my loves. to cook this jollof rice in sections for you guys because there are a lot of ingredients that go into this and like I said in my intro it could be overwhelming I don't want it to be overwhelming for you guys and I want you to cook good jollof rice so like I said I'm gonna do it in sections I'm gonna start with my meat my meat I have goat meat and I have beef in here and it's already washed and clean and this is the pot that I'm gonna cook it in my ingredients that I'm going to use to put in the meat because I need the stock for the rice, I'm going to blend it so when I get the stock I won't have chunks of like onions and peppers and all that stuff. I can actually use my stock. So in that, I have a half of a yellow onion. I'm going to cut that and put it in my blender. And I have a half of a red onion. I'm going to cut that and put it in the blender. And in here I have some, um, oh Lord, what is this? I'm losing my brain, guys. This is something. <laughs> the fold is going off. I have two shallots that I'm going to put in there. I'm going to just cut them and put in there. I have five cloves of garlic that's going to go in there. And guys, what is this? I don't lost my brain cells. This is um oh my goodness. I forget. What is this? I'm gonna put it on the screen because my brain ain't working right now. I'm gonna put that in and I don't want to be running back and forth to the sink. So I'm gonna just pour some water in there with it. And then I'm gonna put it on the blender and I'm gonna blend this up. And I'm gonna pour all of this on top of the meat. And then I'm going to take some more of this water because I want all of this out of here, guys. I'm going to take this water and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to try to get as much of this as I can. Pour that there. And then I have five Maggie seasoning cubes. And I'm going to get these in here. And they dissolve as soon as they start cooking in the water. They dissolve. So I'm going to send me messages, but they're going to have to talk to me later. Okay. And then, guys, I have some curry powder. I'm going to put some curry powder in. I have some thyme. And Jayla is my camera person, guys. And I have some all-purpose seasoning I'm going to put in. And then I have some cloves. These cloves, when I purchased them, they weren't um, in the powder form. So I just took um, a little spoon and I just beat them a little bit. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay, Jayla, I need you to 
I'm gonna get that. Let's see what that looks like. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this on the stove and I'm gonna let it cook. And then after this boils, I'm going to fry it because I need the oil from this to put in the rice. So I'm gonna get this to cooking guys and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so the beef and the goat meat, this is how it's looking so far. I'm gonna let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to fry it, but it will boil for another 10 to 15 minutes and you see all the ingredients are in that stock. So when I use that stock, I won't have like any leftover chunks of anything that's going to be in my rice. It all would be liquefied and that is exactly what you want. So while our meat is cooking, I am going to make the actual sauce that we use for our jollof rice. Hey, Miss Journey. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So, to make the um the sauce, I need four tomatoes. I need eleven bell peppers. I need five large onions, and I also am going to put three scotch bonnets in or habanero peppers. I am going to put 10 garlic cloves and I am going to put two, why do I keep forgetting the name of this? <laughs> I'm going to put two big pieces of ginger in there. And then I have to blend everything up. What do you want buddy? Y'all see Cam Cam? Cam Cam say hi. Cam is rude y'all. He is so rude. Get up off me. So guys, I am going to get all of this cut up. You don't need this big one. And put it in the blender. I do need my big pot. You mind your business. You got a big head. You got a big stomach. I ain't say you were fat, but I say you had a big stomach. You you eat a lot. He always talking junk, but he eats more than everything. So guys, I'm gonna get all of this cut up. And I'm gonna just start blending it.
Okay guys, when you're cooking goat meat in this beef, you tell that it's done when you boil it, when you're able to stick your fork in it without resistance. Your fork goes straight through it. See, straight through it, no type of resistance whatsoever. That's how you can tell this meat is done. The fork goes straight in. So I'm gonna take this out and then we're gonna get to the next process. All of the meat, this is the goat and the beef. Let me let you guys see it, it's quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fry it. And I'm gonna fry it in the same pot. I'm not gonna clean that pot out. I just dry the water out, but I didn't wipe it out because I want all of those flavors. So I'm gonna put some oil in this pot and then I'm gonna fry the meat. Okay, my love, so while that oil is heating up, the half of it, I got a tomato, the half of an onion and the shallots that I told you to reserve, let's go ahead and get these cut up. I actually should have cut the onion the other way, but it'll be fine. Now this tomato and the onion, I'm actually going to reserve that to the very end. But I'm going to go ahead, since I'm cutting, I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. That oil is about right, y'all. I know y'all can hear it. Get a towel here. Oh, yeah, my oil is about right, guys. And there is no specific time frame that you fry your meat. You just want to get it brown. So, I usually let it fry on all sides for about four or five minutes each. But you just want it brown. That's it. You don't want to burn it. So you need to stay with it while it fries. Hot bedroom in here for all of this meat. Well, it may be, it may not be. Let's see. I don't want to drop the temperature in here any, but I definitely don't want to burn this meat because I need this oil. I think that's all I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna let this little first batch cook for a moment. And guys, when this is done, I'll be back and I'll let you see it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cook the second batch. So, I'm gonna let all this meat cook, guys. And then I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, my love, so here's all the meat. I fried it up. And what I've also done is I have what is this? Six ounces of tomato paste. I've opened six of those and put it in there. And what I did with the oil 
that I used to fry the meat, I transferred it over into this bigger pot. So let me show you guys what I'm gonna do now. Pot, and it's seasoned from the meat. And because this pot is so big, I have both of my eyes on and I have them on six for now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take those shallots and put them in. And let them cook for a few moments. And after the shallots cook, guys. For a few moments, I'm gonna get my tomato paste added in here with them, and then I'm gonna let that go for about 15 20 minutes just enough time to get that sour taste from the tomato paste out of it, and then I'm gonna add my mixture. Paste me, this is the spoon. Get the paste off of that. Start putting tomato paste in. And I just put it around and it'll start frying. I stir it up and I just put it in little sections when I put it in like this and you hear it when I put it in and then guys while this is going because it needs to cook like 15 minutes I purchased um, I'm gonna show you the rice that I purchased and I'm going to um, wash that rice. Usually I have to wash it with cold water like six or seven times before the water in it is clear. Because you want to wash all that starch and all that stuff out of the rice. And I purchased charboiled rice. So I work that around some. And guys, we're gonna let this go. Let's say 15 minutes. Let that fry up. Then I'm gonna come back and check on it. And then we're gonna see. So guys, while this is cooking for those 15 minutes, you want to constantly stir it. Because the last thing you want to do is let it burn. Because that would be a disaster if you burn it. You don't want to burn your meal. So constantly stare this while it's cooking. And you see how it's already stopped the little clumping. It's not in little clumps anymore. You see how the appearance of it has already changed. But I need to let it go for another 10 minutes. Because it's only been cooking for about 5 minutes. And I have it like on a medium high heat. However, when I add the, um, my pepper and tomato mixture in here, I'm going to turn it down to a little lower heat. Okay, my love. So this is the rice that I'm using. And I'm using three bags of this rice. And I'm actually washing it now. Let me show you. So, and I'm going to wash this until the water is all the way clear. And when you wash your rice, you can put salt in it and wash it. But you see how that water is muggy? You want to wash it until that water is clear. Okay, my loves. This is the color that you are going for 
This is exactly how you want this to look. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to only cook this for maybe two more minutes. And then I'm going to add our pepper and tomato mixture to this. And then it's going to, I'm going to cover it, I'm going to put it on low, and I'm going to let it go for about 30 minutes. A big old piece of onion in there. Let me get that out. That didn't blend. So guys, ooh, where'd it go? Yes, this onion didn't blend. I am going to blend this and put it back in there. Ooh, goodness. So I am going to let this fry up guys on low heat for about 30 minutes all right okay guys it's been about 30 minutes so let's take this off Ooh. and now you see how it's popping that's why it's on low heat and now we're going to add the seasonings. Okay guys, these are 12 Maggie Q's that I went ahead and crumbled. These are the remaining pack of the cloves. Them in there. I'm going to put several bay leaves in here. Okay, I got some smoked paprika and it is popping. I got some black pepper, some thyme, and I like a lot of thyme. Just like that black pepper, you need it. Some curry powder. Some more of that, take the top off. some all-purpose seasoning okay so let me stir this up and I'm gonna let this cook for another 10 to 15 minutes with those seasonings in there okay guys so let's take a look Tear this up real good. Make sure nothing is sticking or burning. And I actually pulled it off the eye to stir it up because when it's on the eye, it's cooking and it's bubbling. And I'm not trying to get burnt by anything. So, you see how it looks? Let me taste it. It's good. I'm going to let it go a few more moments so it can get to the 30 minute mark. And then, I'm going to add the rice, my love. Okay, guys. So, before we add the rice, I'm going to just take a little bit of the stew. And I'm going to put it on the meat that I cooked earlier. I don't want to cook the meat anymore. But I do want some of this stew on there. So I'm going to add that, and the stove is still on, and I'm going to stir this in just a little bit, just to get some of that stew on all that meat. Look at that. And that's it guys, I'm not going to recook any of that meat or anything like that. I just wanted to get some of that hot stew on there. All right. Let me move this out the way. And then, let me get the rice added inside of here. So this is the rice that I washed, guys. Let me add it in here. I've drained all the water out of it. So I don't have to worry about any water 
going in my stew because I'm going to use the broth. So since I'm going to use the broth, I don't want no water. And guys, when you put the rice in here, you want to make sure, well, you had it on, I had it on the lowest heat anyway, but you definitely want to make sure it's on the lowest heat when you add this rice. Because this rice is going to cook first. I'm going to cook it about 20 to 30 minutes, and I'm going to come back and check on it. And then I'm going to cook it again. So let me stir it all in. Get everything mixed in real well. And now I'm going to this is my broth from the meat guys. So I'm gonna add some broth to it. Okay, and I'm gonna add just enough broth to cover the top of the rice. See that? Top of the rice covers. Okay. So guys, I'ma cover this and I'ma put it back over the hot heat. And I'ma turn it on low. And I'ma let this go for 20 to 30 minutes. But I am gonna come check on it after 20 minutes. I'ma come back over here and check on it, guys. 30 minutes later. Fifteen more minutes. Okay, my love. This is fifteen minutes later. All of this four. Going to add those onions and the tomatoes that you saw me cut up earlier. And I'm going to stir this up. And then I'm going to let it go on low for about 10 more minutes. And then we are done. Let me show you. You guys see that? I'm gonna let that cook for 10 more minutes, guys. And okay, my loves, it has been 10 minutes. And here we go. Look at this, guys. Looks amazing. I'm gonna plate this up, my loves. And then I'm gonna show you guys everything all played it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video need no calculator that's fact 
Cause as long as one plus one will equal two That's as long as I've been needing you And as sure as five plus five is ten Girl, my love will never end Gonna hold you like